Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys, in the view of us, it's cup of tea time with Captain Steve, and as you can see, we've got a lovely beverage, and quite a fancy cup this time, chums, look, it's all beaded, yeah, we got this from a charity shop, freaking nice, yeah, because my merch mug's over there, you see it behind my cup of tea right now, there it is down there, completely forgot to put use that mug, <laughs> what a mug! <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about today, other than my freaking choice of cup? <laughs> We're talking about No Man's Sky, all the things I love to do with No Man's Sky that are slowly getting scuppered due to bugs that I really hope get fixed in 2023. So what are those bugs? Well, as you know, I like to run the weekend missions. But here we go, if I bring up my weekend missions video from the other week, this is going to be a bit inception. Oh, I've even got the same bloody t-shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> right anyway let's um let's make this nice and big on the screen oh look I've, i think i've covered myself <laughs> yeah that, that's a bit better isn't it but anyway here's what happened at the start of last week's weekend mission let me just turn up the music just a tad so you can hear the actual video um yeah you might be able to hear a little bit of you of winamp music but doesn't matter does it here we go day chums i am joined by mr kettle hello there mr kettle how are you buddy oh, i'm not bad you okay yeah, doing lovely, doing super smashing great. Oh, you've got your new cape on. Yeah, can you see that, can you? Yeah. No, no, I can't. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just messing. You, you can't see mine either, can you? No, 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 no. Well, that hasn't been fixed, but at least we can get them. Look, I'm sporting it anyway, people. It's like, it's weird though. We've just noticed something strange. At the moment, Wolf is trying to connect, so I'll just chat some bollocks while we're waiting for that to happen. How are you getting on, Wolfie? Okay. So there, people, in the view of us, let me just bring back my webcam, because at the moment you can't see me talking. There we go. <laughs> that worked well, didn't it? Anyway, what basically happened was, is every week I'm usually joined by either Bobby Maggie, Mr. Kettle, The Mash, and, uh, you know, Wolfie Farquhar. Wolfie Farquhar couldn't join, for whatever reason, so we just had him as a disembodied voice, like a Jedi-type voice, and we couldn't get him to connect no matter what we tried. He even tried restarting his whole freaking setup, and he still couldn't get connected. And every single week, when we're doing the weekend missions, we have problems. We have problems like that in the universe all the freaking time. It's, um, it's a little bit bizarre, to be honest, and every single... To be honest, sometimes it adds to the weekend mission experience because it, it adds a little bit of sort of extra sort of variety into our weekly sort of play. And it shows a sort of shenanigans that we can sort of get stuck up on. So, yeah, there is that, I suppose. Anyhow. That's the first bug inside of No Man's Sky that I wish would go away. So next up, I used to do events pretty much every week where we'd give away pet eggs for some of the more exotic of pets. So yeah, let's head on over. But this one was the last one I did, and I did it two months ago, okay, peeps? Now you can see here I put the portal code at the top for people to join ambiently, and nobody was really showing up. I mean, I had one or two people join my group. You can probably just about see that over there. You know what, let's just make it... Let's just hit it up, but I'm probably going to get adverts and all sorts of other shenanigans going on. So, yeah, let me go mute that for a second. Got to play at least five seconds of it, and uh, we can skippity skip that just to get into the actual juice of this. But, yeah, so I only had, like, maybe three people turn up. I tried teleporting to different bases. I made sure that all my settings were on. I, I sent out invites to people as well. I gave people my friends code, and it only seemed that people with my friends code could join my iteration. But even then, it was very hit and miss. I did all sorts of stuff. I tried making sure that I was definitely online on PlayStation. I, I, I tried everything. And I only managed to get two, two or three people come. And I had loads of people inside of my live chat getting extremely frustrated, saying, Captain Steve, I'm trying to join you. But whatever I'm trying to do, I can't join you. It was just, it was just bedlam. And I know that other content creators out there also do give giveaways of a similar nature like zoo games and things like that. And that's all ground to a halt because at the moment, multiplayer seems to be completely stuffed up the wazoo. It just doesn't freaking work, people in the universe. No, it doesn't work like it used to. And it's, it's a bit of a shame because it's, it's put pay to a lot of in-game events. So yeah, that's that's it. Multiplayer is one of my biggest gripes right now, people in the view of us. It really is. Next on the list, again, it's to do with multiplayer, but this time I used to do base offs. 
And BASOFs were great fun. So basically what we would do in a BASOF is there'd be like, what, four of us all in an instance together, and we'd go to different areas on planets inside the same system, and we'd all build a base within 40 minutes. And then after that 40 minutes is up, we'd all go to different bases. I'd open up a poll inside my live chat. People would be voting on their best base, the best ba build that people had done. This is all in creative mode, so a different game mode all together. You can see here I went up against Mr. Kettle, Madfish, Mash and that was me and then what this one it was kettle bobby and madfish magpie and yeah each week it was bloody good fun a really good way to showcase some real creativity the only thing what we was finding as you can see here with the doors have rendered on this base but we was finding that doors wouldn't bloody render and we couldn't go inside of each other's bases and it was getting really finicky and parts of bases weren't rendering in and uh, yeah it just just wasn't happening and you know in 40 minutes you can't put down the max base part count so you'd think that all the rendering wouldn't be an issue but no we had issue on issue on issue doing basos to the point that it felt a little bit too janky to continue doing it so again it's to do with base rendering and base rendering got worse on the playstation 5 i reckon over previous gen which is it's bizarre it's bizarre that that shouldn't be the case Right, I'm going to have a little sip of my tea before we get on to the next one, people. But this is back to base rendering now. Because I used to love doing base tours. And also I started interviewing people at their bases and touring their base at the same time while talking to them about things up to do with No Man's Sky and why they started playing it. And I did one here with Action Pants Gaming four months ago. Let me jump on in and I'll show you the state of play on this one. So let's make this a little bit larger. Wait for this advert, people. Sorry, people in the viewer verse, but yes, I need to get premium. I'm planning on getting it after April, after I get back from the old Philippines. And yeah, to treat myself to that so we don't have to go through sort of inception of adverts. But here we go. Okay, right, cool, yeah. So let's uh, skip this in a bit until we actually get there. Because the first time I arrive, at Kate, I mean, I think I cut a lot of the rendering issues out because we had plenty of them. But even still, why go in through all of this? If I just keep clicking for a while... Um, there's parts of it where it goes completely weird. Uh, it's towards the end here. So inside of here, oh, yeah, he's, he's sort of lasering things for me to look at. And I'm not actually seeing the things that he's lasering. But we get further in, and his base has all been concreted in by like a giant cavey type stuff going on and all sorts of weirdness going on and loads of his base didn't actually render in i couldn't really give it 100 percent justice and overview i mean down there was a subway and a whole sort of train yard which i just couldn't see mainly because it'd all been encapsulated inside of a cave the cave grew back which is another thing yeah so trying to build underground cave bases is a freaking nightmare in those now despite them putting in multiple patch notes that it's all been fixed that was pretty odd there you go the train finally did render in but it's it's weird it's weird when you pick people so that was base rendering and bases and all that sort of shenanigans covered off so another thing I used to like doing was sort of like a PvP mode against Scottish Rod, where we would put down some sort of marker, and you'd have to get to that marker or beacon before the other player could actually hunt you down and intercept you. So we used to do this quite a lot, which was great fun. However, after the Sentinel update, that became increasingly harder, because you'd be, you'd be flying over the planet's surface, and either pirates would try to attack you, or Sentinel ships would be called in to try and attack you. You had to make sure you don't have any contraband, band on you but even then anything of value pirates would still have a freaking go so it, that happened far too often so in the end we had to sort of change the game mode down a bit to stop that from happening now but even then it just doesn't feel the same as it once did and also occasionally you drop out of group so you won't be able to see the marker anymore it's it's a pain in the freaking neck trying to keep your actual online servers connected and multiplayer connected as well as having sentinel ships to contend with and having to mess about with game modes it was just it became a little bit too finicky to pull off it is something that can still be done but it's a bit more of a ball lake trying to get it done and uh, it's not quite how it was and it'd be nice to have different modes that you can actually hit on up inside no man's sky that do actually work or do actually hold multiplayer together but 
I don't think that's ever going to happen at this rate. I mean, we got a massive ream of bug fixes right before Christmas, and multiplayer cohesion was not one of them. I am hoping that the reason being is they're trying to get multiplayer to work on Switch and crossplay and all that sort of loveliness. So maybe a little bit of pain for a few months would be kind of acceptable, but it would be nice on the no on the Hello Games website or on the No Man's Sky website or even on the Zendesk, wherever it said, we are currently aware that multiplayer is having issues and it's not working as it should. This is because of X, Y, and Z, and we're hoping to implement A, B, and C and get that fixed in the by time. But no, there's nothing. There's nothing like that that comes up. There really isn't. Okay, so the next one has got something to do with the actual discovery servers themselves and the naming of things. I'm just jumping over to one of my own sort of bases inside of game right now. So let me just jump on over. I hit on up my bases here. And if I'm looking for the NMSA everything farm, this is my actual hub zone of space, people. So we're going to be jumping there. Now, every single planet and every single creature inside of this system I named, okay, before I actually invited anybody into this system, I tried to find everything I possibly could and put my name all over it. So because this is the NMSA hub, I've got a wiki page for this as well, people. So the NMSA 905 hub, I'll put the wiki link inside of the video description. Let's just jump back into game. I'm still teleporting at the moment, but uh, yeah, it should bring in my base any second now if it doesn't Right, that sort of stopped for a second there. I thought I was going to get a game crash. Didn't happen, which was cool. So here you go. You can see here, I discovered this. No Man's Sky, Everything Farm World. If I just get rid of this letterbox view for a second, and I go over to the Discoveries page, it says 13 creatures, 0 of 13, have been discovered. It's got the planet's name there, which is pretty cool. And it's got some... Oh, okay. Well, that's... That shouldn't be the case. I named every planet in this system, but it says that somebody else has found that. Chrono Healer. You see Captain Steve, that one's still okay. But it says the Hurricane found that one. Okay. Um, did they? <laughs> Three years ago. Okay, fine. Let's have a look at this one. Three years ago. When did I discover this one? Three years ago. Hmm. Okay, well, that's a bit weird. I'm fairly sure I renamed all of these, but maybe not. I'd, but I definitely did all the creatures. Let me just uh, scan one of these. And I bet you, because, at, I mean, at the moment, look, creatures, zero. Okay, zero found. If I scan this creature, it should come up with discovered by Captain Steve. Okay, that's not freaking scannings. Let's get a little bit closer to the dang things. Dun, dun, dun. Where are you? And they despawned on me. No, they haven't. There's one. Brick and scan. Okay, duck, feet, wings. What? I don't know. I wouldn't have named it that. Three years ago by FSU Rangers. Seriously, people, in the view of us, before I actually put out the coordinates to the system, I'm fairly sure I named pretty much everything. I think I even did some of the trees and the rocks and all sorts of stuff. Okay, there you go. Discovered by Captain Steve. That one's come up with Discovered by Captain Steve, because who, who's going to bother with that? Okay, um... Oh, today? No! <laughs> what the fudge? Okay, um, let's try scanning this guy. Go into here, go into there. Creature. Discovered three years ago, by something weird's happened. Seeing people? Um, yeah, this is, this is odd. I mean, there was the Origins update, wasn't there? But that wasn't three years ago. And that did change a lot of the creatures on planets and stuff like that. So maybe something else has happened in between. But, you know, I, I named everything on side, on side of this, this planet. Like I'm saying, I, this is weird. Yeah, it, it looks like a lot of the actual discoveries have been overwritten with other peoples so this is very odd very odd indeed um but there we go people so a lot of the discoveries that you've had or the things that you've named for whatever reason people can rename them whatever they wish and overwrite your own sort of stuff so what's the point in discovering things and naming things and creating hubs and all that sort of shenanigans if everything that you've done goes to freaking oblivion i mean let's 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 just try enough a planet let's try enough a system don't we people in the view of us because this is pretty weird i'm getting quite low on my old team now this is oh it's still good it's still good 
Mm, well, I'm looking at my base list, and to be honest, I don't think I've gone to town and named everything on every single planet all too often, to be honest. I mean, you know when I do the dice planets? I was looking for one of those, and I don't put bases on them, which is the only trouble. But even, you know those random dice videos that I do, and I name things on there? Sometimes I go back in to get a thumbnail, and we're talking maybe an hour later. And a lot of the things that I've renamed them to, all the people in my live chat, stuff like that, it's reverted their names. It's reverted their names, people in the viewer verse. And that's just that's just not freaking cricket, is it? Actually, I think I've managed to find one of those stations from one of those. I've called this one John McKnown Platform. So I think that might be from one of those sort of, you know, weekendy type thing. Well, the, the random portal code ones. So let's jump on over there and we're going to take a quick look, see, shall we, people? And we'll see if all the sort of discoveries of all the creatures and things on in this system have actually kept their names from when I'd done the random portal code. Because I named them after all of my regulars, so it should be the case. Anyway, I've arrived at Cated, and it's, there you go, John McNone's system, Euclid. Hopefully it was just a, a little while ago. Let's have a quick look-see. Six days ago, yes. Yeah, so this is probably one of, the, yeah, and look, we've got the, un, we've got Old Explorer Planet there, which is cool. If I go into Discoveries, look, they've lost their names. They've lost their names, so they would have been named after people inside of the viewerverse. And they've, they've lost their names. I think I called this one like Damash or something, and I don't know, that one Damash and that one something else. If I go down to that planet and rescan those creatures, sometimes it comes up with what I've named them. But right now, if another player was to go there and scan them and name them, it would be a little bit hit and miss with who actually gets the name in saves. So let's fly on down to that planet and let's have a look, see if we can actually capture one of those creatures. But I honestly think this is one of the biggest issues with the naming of stuff, because that's kind of what the game was all about, wasn't it? It's discovery and exploration. But if it's put paid to that, I mean, what's the bloody point? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well... Okay, I can't play multiplayer, I can't do base tours, I can't do events and giveaways, and I can't even blink in and do exploration and name stuff the way I want it to stay named, because there's a risk that it won't stay blink in named what I name it. Right, well, let's see if I can spot one of those birds or one of those sort of crab creatures. When I was doing the actual live stream, that's all I could blink in see. Um, so hopefully that's all we're gonna see now, but you'll probably find that I go and find some brand new blinking discoveries I didn't even see on my live stream, but we go over this way but head south go south Do 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 the fudge is going on there What was all that fire? What's all that smoke all about? Oh, well, I'll just uh, ignore that actually happened All right, okay, let's have a look around any creatures any creatures come on creatures come on I just want a poxy creature to appear, and it's not appearing. This is another thing that I get sometimes. On planets, it can take a good, like, what, five minutes or so for a creature to spawn in, um, and also some of the textures on rocks and some of the other, other bits and bobs, especially if you jump into a cave, so you transition quite quickly from planet surface into a cave. It can take a little while for it to map in all the textures inside of caves and things, and I'm not seeing any bloody creatures. Not one. Okay, so when this happens, it could be because I landed by a freighter. You see, this is another thing. You've got all these little mini workarounds. You're like, okay, yeah, I know not to jump in a cave straight away. But yeah, if I call down my ship... Well, oh, there you go, there's a creature. I can see a creature now. And look, it always, it's already acting like I've bloody scanned it, though, so I can't rescan it. But that should have the right name. Oh, look, now it's given the names. The names have appeared now, people, but it took freaking ages very odd very odd indeed and you can see there discovery servers are actually active and online but now the names have appeared and so once the creatures render in then they get their names i don't know i don't know what's going on it seems to be that they've changed stuff around and things just don't behave as they used to maybe that's it maybe that you know i've just got to get reused to the way things are now calibrated but again where do we find all this stuff it wasn't in the patch notes that they've changed anything so it's it's bizarre so I also get quite a lot of people hitting me up on comments saying that when they go to fly in the Nexus it can take five minutes before it flies in. On some iterations on some platforms they just get stuck in the actual mouth of the actual Nexus, what I'm being told. I don't know whether that's true for you but let me know if it is. And if it is, what platform in the comments I guess. Because a lot of the time they say it. Oh my, look at this! 
Look at this, there's a giant freaking gek in there. So this could be another thing. There's a lot of players that have mods and have save editors. And, you know, sometimes you get stuff like this happening. And I don't know whether some of the bugs that we're actually seeing in game, whether they're actually player generated or whether they're actual no um, Hello Games generated. I mean, what the actual flying fudge is that all about? You know, that that's craziness. We also had somebody bring in their um, sort of exo mech inside of the nexus and started murdering everybody they managed to fix that one quite quickly but even still it's a bug that should never have happened and it's like quicksilver missions right now you know every iteration can run quicksilver missions apart from nintendo switch i get that nintendo switch hasn't got multiplayer but why should it affect quicksilver missions you know if they can go and buy things from the quicksilver agent why the fudge can't they earn the quicksilver to actually put it go and get stuff and it's like the capes at the moment the capes are completely fudged up you know i can see my cape but if i go and look for anybody else that's wearing a cape which you're probably not going to see many people wearing capes to be honest because they don't render in you can't see other players capes i think you saw that at the start of the weekend mission video that i did right at the start of all of this but yeah this is another thing it would just be nice to know if um if Quick, Quicksilver's ever coming to the Nintendo Switch players, you know? It's it's a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much all the bugs that I can think of at the moment. They're sort of scuppering the things that I like to do inside of No Man's Sky and really limiting what I can deliver on my channel. Because I still do the random dice adventures because they're good bloody fun. The only trouble is I can't guarantee that the things that I name them on the actual stream are going to take. Because if I'm doing it and the discovery servers go down and go back up and go down and go back up, maybe that's playing part into why some of these names aren't registering and staying registered inside of the actual discovery server. But we just don't know. We just don't know what's going on there, people. And it's, it's a bit weird. It's like my ships. I don't really rename my ships anymore because every now and again, they just revert back to their default names. At one point, my freighter kept renaming itself every time I flew to a new system. If I renamed a system, my freighter took on that new system's name that I renamed a system to, like a star system. Yeah, it's, it's weird. So that would have changed to John McNone, you know? But they've managed to fix that but they didn't put it inside of the patch notes that they had fixed it but yeah uh, it, it's weird it's odd we we see weird janky strangeness happen but there's nowhere for us guys in the viewer verse to actually check out what bugs are known about so we don't even know what to report to the zen desk or not and we don't know whether it's a feature or whether it's a bug. It could be intended to be this way. I mean, we all know that the system is slowly breaking down, the 16, 16, 16 of the Atlas. So maybe this, maybe they put these bugs in in purpose to show that the simulation is slowly crumbling and that's why we can't actually link up in multiplayer and stuff. But if they are doing it on purpose and putting these in because of the system failures and the, the shutting down of the 1616, which I can't imagine they would kill their own game for the sake of law. <laughs> but at the moment, it seems that buggy and that sort of held together by sellotape that they're either doing a massive rework and overhaul of everything for 2023 and to bring it to these other platforms we know that it's coming to apple we know that it's coming to playstation vr2 so i'm really hoping in the first quarter of this year when it comes to those two platforms and also with nintendo switch already being available for i'm hoping they ironate all these bugs that i've highlighted right now so we can get back into enjoying the game how we used to enjoy it i mean at the moment from waypoint it's taken a massive step back Okay, if I had to do a review of No Man's Sky pre-Waypoint, I would have given it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It was freaking high. Yeah, I love the game. But after Waypoint and all of these bugs and the current state of play with not knowing whether they're features or whether they're bugs, I'm going with their features. This is how the game should be since they've done a massive great big patch fix right before Christmas. So right now, you can only assume that this is the intended finalized version for waypoint right now i will score this a 7.2 out of 10 and i think i'm being slightly generous because half the stuff that i used to enjoy doing inside of no man's sky now is slightly scuppered i don't know about you guys inside of the view of us have i been a bit harsh with that 7.2 out of 10 let us know inside of the comments do you think i've got valid point and valid reason to be upset about the amount of bugs that are actually hitting the verse at the moment inside of no man's sky sound off let us know inside of the comments i'm really hoping that they put a 
load of bug fixes in in the first quarter of this year after it comes to Apple and also PlayStation VR 2 and I'm hoping we get a smoother ride and a smoother experience but if not I'm really worried I'm really worried about the future of um, No Man's Sky because it's it's not going in the right direction and we're just not hearing anything from Hello Games or got any idea of what's going on and whether this is intended or not anyway I think I've gone off enough but yeah I'm getting really low on the old tea now Well, it's a bit cold now. <laughs> Gotta get myself a fresh brew. But don't get me wrong, No Man's Sky has got so much potential and it's got so much going for it. And yes, it is a bigger, fuller game than it was at launch. But then, I mean, if you really wanted me to sound off, I would still say some of the best things inside of the trailers haven't made it into iteration. Sandworms that look like they're an actual threat for a start and giant majestic type diplos, rhinos that can smash down trees, Factions that you can join, pick a side, you know, inside the space. You can be a pirate or you can be, you know, a, a, a nice guy or whatever. You know, you can help the freighters in distress. But none of that's there as yet, people. So some of the best things are, that was tantalized back then still haven't made it in. And I hope we see more of that come into play inside of 2023 as well, people. But there we go. That's it. That's everything I've got for you. I know this one has been slightly negative, but at the same time, what I would say is some of these bugs. I mean, I've got one going on right now. Look, I'll jump back into game. Ah, it just stopped. The Nexus was shaking like mad, going up and, and going mental. And that, that big guy's despawned anyway, so it wasn't him. But yeah, you also get the Nexus shake, and that's been going on for freaking eons. That that still hasn't been fixed. There, there's just there's a lot of weirdness going on. I've had it where I'm inside of the Nexus and everybody just despawns and all the ships disappear. I check my servers, they're still all green, they're still all up. I don't know what happened there. You just lose iteration, you know? It just drops out every now and again. It's... It's an oddity, but I'm fairly sure I've probably missed a bug or two that are really affecting other things that people like to do in game. And if I have, please put it inside the comments, um, especially if it seems to be a game breaker for you or a deal breaker for you. I know there were some people inside of the expedition on Switch that couldn't end off the expedition or complete the expedition. So they had to wait for it to run its full course beforehand, before it all sort of popped and stuff. There seems to be a lot that needs to be ironed out and polished. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.